hello and welcome to Catalon API testing tutorial so in this tutorial we'll continue our journey for the API automation using Catalon studio and now once we have installed Catalon studio we'll explore a bit about uh, the interface of Catalon and then we'll also do our first request or trigger our first request in Catalon studio so this will be our rest API uh, this time so I'll be taking a sample rest API and trigger first rest uh, API get request and see how you can do it in Catalon now once you launch Catalon studio you will see the menu bar at the top so file uh, to create new sample project or new project or open the project and then you have some uh, certain options for the um, action uh, this is more you know like for the API web service you can um, create open rest or um, the soap request or you can import Vistel file or swagger um, from this action menu and then you can you have the edit option there project debug test ops so I'll cover these menu icons or the details of the menu once we get into the details and as and when required we'll cover the details of these menu items later then you have the important aspect of the ui is the test explorer where you will find that you will you can create a new project and all the project details will be displayed in the test explorer in different uh, in in the tree format um, then in the right hand side this bigger section where you have the catalon help you will this is your uh, the request editor so you you will be able to form the request and select different methods so once we create a project you will be um, able to uh, see the the lot of details that will be displayed in this section here in the request editor and th because this is the Catalon help you can get a lot of help um, around the web ui testing or the api testing so if you go to api you will see the step-by-step -step, uh, details of how you can trigger your first request in Catalon. So we'll cover these steps in as part of these this tutorial itself. Now in the extreme right hand corner you will see this is more of a debugging and console log section here. So you can open the console uh, and then event log etc. And then at the top you have the debug option and then you can change or work for your profile with your profile open the dashboard etc so these are some of the common key sections so the the menu bar at the top test explorer uh, the request uh, builder in the middle here and the console and debug logging section in the extreme right here so now let's go ahead and create the first project in Catalon to so create a first project will simply either go to the file and click on new and say project or in the text explorer itself click on new project and it will open the window for creating a new project so I'll say RCV just provide the name of the project and then you need to select the type of the project so because we are doing the API testing with Catalon we'll select the API web service and in the project you have the demo sample project as well if you want to explore you can choose that we'll leave it as blank and if you want to have the repository so for example you are, you want to check in your code to git you provide the detail the, the repository url there but um, as of now we won't be doing that initially so we'll just leave it as blank and by default generate git ignore and build.gradle file are checked so um, just leave it as checked there and provide the description of the project if you like so i'll just copy the name of the project and click ok so now you will see that the project is getting created and once the project has been created we'll start importing our rest api so now you can see the project has been created and we'll close this Catalon test ops integration so this this is a message you don't have um, no teams to work on please contact so we'll just don't 
bother about this one we'll close it and now we are on the project page so now you can see if you see here so we have the test cases the object repository and test suites right so these are the three key folder when we are working with the api and then you have the data file keywords listeners etc so we'll cover that later so as of now in order to start with your first request what you can do is you can simply uh, click on this little icon here so you can say new draft rest request okay so i'll click on that and it will open the draft request where we need to paste the URI okay so now it has opened the request we'll go to the deck of cards API copy the location and come back to the Catalan studio and paste the URL okay so that we have copied from deck of cards API and here you'll see this drop down here which is the methods drop down so this is the get request that we are triggering we'll select the get request and provided the detail of the shuffle deck api and then as you can see just after the question mark it automatically detected the query parameters and populated the query parameters there right so in the rest api the key thing to remember is that you have the end point or the node okay so which is https deck of cards api.com and then anything after the slash is your resource so api slash deck slash new slash shuffle is the resource and anything starting after the question mark is your query parameter right so for example you are doing a query on google.com you are opening the google.com website and then typing in the query parameters um, whatever text you want to search on google.com so basically anything in the web API, web service or the rest api which starts after the question mark is the query parameter right so if you would have um, google.com say for example if i replace this with uh, google.com then the query parameter would be um, query and you can type in any text right so that will be the query parameter and if you update these query parameter in the link it will automatically update the query parameter in the section below here right so i'll just um, remove that okay so now we have got the get request the method we have the url and the query parameters have been automatically populated in the query parameter section now below this uh, request you will see the authorization um, header here then you have http header http body verification so all the other detail authorization is required in case your api it requires authorization and you cannot hit it directly uh, or anyone uh, cannot hit that particular api unless and until you are registered and authorized to hit that particular api then at the bottom you have the problem event log and the console log viewer which is similar to the um, eclipse and then you have in the response section you have the formatter so you have the body header and verification log section here and here at the bottom you can select the formatting whether whether the response is in the json xml html you can select the formatting options in the right hand section here so as you can see this is the query builder and the log viewer and the response which is all available in this particular section so now in the request history the all the history will be logged for the request that you are triggering from Catalon studio so if we now want to run this particular get request you simply click on this little icon test request and it will prompt do you want to save the changes i'll say okay and then it will hit or send this particular request and you should get a response right so now you can see status 200 okay the time it took and the size of this particular uh, response and the format is automatically it detected that it's a json format and it has formatted it in uh, pretty format 
and chosen the formatting as JSON, right? So that's all about triggering your first GET request from Catalon Studio. If you had experience with Postman, this uh, interface will be pretty familiar for you if you have uh, a little bit of exposure to Postman. If you want to uh, learn same uh, API testing with Postman tool, I have created another series on Postman API testing as well. Please go through that tutorial series as well because if you want to learn uh, two different tool, it will be very easy to follow uh, both the tools and learn API testing from Postman and Catalon Studio together uh, because the interface will be uh, are very very similar uh, for both the tools so hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching